hello and welcome to the channel in this tutorial we'll draw the symbol model here from study CAD CAM this will be a practical exercise so now let me close this document so okay guys what to do now is to create a new document and here we select part design workbench and next here we create new body and create a new sketch this first sketch will create in xy plane okay and now let's see the drain page okay here we have this image in this image we have all the measures and all views that we need to create this model in FreeCAD and you can see here this this drawing is from StudyCAD.com site okay so okay guys here we in this sketch we selected this center rectangle tool click in this origin point and now draw this rectangle and next here what you have to do is to draw this arc and this arc and here we can see that these two arcs have the same radius and the same center point and the distance between this line here and this line is 120 so we come back to this model and here we select these two lines and we delete these two lines and now select this arc tool click in this point and now we draw this arc in these two points and again click here and click here and in this point here and now select this vertical distance tool and we set the distance here to 120 and now we select this constraint here and we set the edge of this arc here to 100 okay and now we leave this sketch here and press on go to pad tool and we'll change the length here to these dimensions here okay here we see 24 and 6 so I will set 24 plus 6 and OK. And the next operation here is to do this fillet in the top face. We have 10 millimeters here and we have this fillet 18 millimeters. So here we select this face and go to fillet tool. We change the dimension here to 10 millimeters and now click OK. And next, select this edge here, go to fillet tool. We change the dimension to 18 and click in this add button. And now we add, we add this edge here and this edge and this edge. And now click OK. And the next thing is to, and next what we have to do is this pocket here. Okay, to do that, we select the space here and we go to thickness tool. Okay, and we check this option, make thickness in words. And the value of the thickness here will be 6 millimeters. We can see here, 6. So we change here to 6 and we click OK. And now we get this pocket here. So guys, the next step here is to create these parts, these four parts. We have this part and these parts, four. Okay, so what to do here is to create a new sketch. This sketch in XY plane. Okay, switch to section view and here what we'll do is to pick this cycle tool and draw two cycles. And these two cycles must be equal, so we select this equal constraint and we set these two cycles equal. And now select the symmet constraint and these two center points and select this vertical line. And now you can see these cycles is symmetric to this to this vertical line. Okay. And now in this page you can see the dimension for these cycles okay so here we have a diameter of 26 and this horizontal dimension here 114 
so we select this constraint here and we change the diameter here to 26 and now select this horizontal distance tool click in this center point and this center point and set 140 okay and here we can see that the center point is horizontal constrained to this line here so what to do is to select this external geometry tool extra this edge and now we select the center point and this end point here and we make it we select horizontal constraint and now we leave the sketch here and we go to pad tool the value for this pad here will be we can see here in the section we have 35 okay so we change here to 35 and okay and next we go to model and we select this pad operation here and we go to mirrored filter and in these parameters what we'll do is to, is to change the plane to we'll change the plane to x the plane so click here and select x the plane and click ok so now we have these four parts and next what we'll have to do is to create this part here to do that we select this face here and we go to we create a new sketch in this face and here we select the cycle tool and what we have to do is to draw two cycles this cycle and this cycle and we have to do this fillet here so we come back to the sketch and we draw these two cycles okay and here we select these we select we select this constraint here and here we we see a diameter of 60 to the cycle and 82 to the cycle and the radius of this fillet is 10 so we select this and we set 82 and the diameter for the cycle we set 60 okay and next here we select this trim tool we trim these two arcs here and now we select this fillet tool select this arc and this arc and now okay click here again and and do this fillet and now select this equal constraint and make these two arcs equal okay and now we set the radius of this arc to 10 millimeters okay and what we'll do next is to set the horizontal dimensions so okay here we see this dimension we have six between the center point and the center point so we select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point and we set six and now we see this dimension here 17 between the center point and the center point here so what to do is to select this external geometry tool and extract this edge here and now switch to section view select again this horizontal distance tool select this point here and this point and set 17 okay and now what you have to do is to set the vertical dimensions okay so here we have 15 for the vertical dimension between this point here to this point so we select this vertical distance tool select this point and this point and set 15 and here we can see that the center point is constrained to the origin point so here we select we select this horizontal constraint click in this point and now this origin point and now this sketch is constrained so we leave this sketch and next here we go to model and print click on mouse and go to attachment editor here we'll change the z duration the value of the z duration to 15 okay so we change here to 15 and okay 
and go to part two okay and we check this option reverse it and here in the trap we set up to face and we select this face here and click ok and next what we have to do is to create these parts here okay so to do that we select this face here and we go and we create a new sketch and here what to do is to first select this external geometry tool say extra this edge here and this edge and now select this cycle tool and we draw a cycle in this point here and we draw a cycle in this point so now i have to delete this constraint here okay and here the next thing is to set the diameter for the cycle so here we will have here we have 38 and fifth so select this constraint here and the diameter of the cycle will be fifth and this will be 38 okay so now we leave this sketch and we go to pad tool check this option reverse it and the length of the pad here will be we can see here will be 26 so we change to 26 and okay and now we see these parts okay and next here we'll create these walls so okay to do that we'll go to model and you go to this pad operation click in this arrow here select this sketch then click on mouse and go to copy option and here we'll select only the sketch here and now click ok and now click on this icon to pass the sketch in this document select this sketch and spacebar and now drag this sketch into this body here double click in this sketch and what you'll have to do here is to change the diameter of the circles to 28 and to 28 and 40 so we change here to 28 and here we change to 40 and now we leave this sketch and we go to pocket tool okay in the parameters we change the dimension to trogol and we click ok and what we have to do next is to create this wall here so the diameter for the cycle is 35 and the value of the pocket is 5 so here we select this face here and we create a new sketch select this external geometry tool extra this edge here and select cycle tool and we draw a cycle here in this point and now select this constraint here and set the diameter of the cycle to 35 okay and close this sketch and now go to pocket tool and here set the link to 5 millimeters okay click ok and next here what we'll have to do is this this pocket this wall these pockets here around this cycle so to do this we select this face here and we create a new sketch again and select this tool here extract this edge and select this cycle tool draw the cycle here and here we'll set a random diameter we can set uh, six millimeters okay and in this top view we see that the distance between this center point here to the center point of the cycle is will be the half of this dimension here 61 so we select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now the center point here and we'll set the half of 61 okay and now we select this constraint here and select these two points Okay, this sketch is full constrained, so we close this sketch here 
and go to this wall too and and okay guys here we change the profile to isomatic regular profile we check these streets and now here we change the size and these dimensions so here we see we see this reference so we change here the size to we select this and the dimension here will be will be 15 so we change here to 15 and we change here to dimension 2 and here we set 10 millimeters and if you want to see the thread you can check this option here model thread and now we click ok and next here we go to model and we select this wall here and we go to polar pattern tool and here what you have to do is to go to axis and here we select this option select reference and we'll select this edge here as reference and we'll change the number of occurrence to six you can see here we have six walls so we change here to six and click ok okay guys and next here we'll create this wall here these four walls to do that we select this face and this face this face here and this face and we go to wall two and here what you have to do is to set the diameter of the wall so here we have we have 12 we set 12 here and and we change the dimension to travel and we click ok ok now we have this so next step is to do the fillets so here first we select this edge select this edge here and go to fillet tool the value of this fillet is we can see here is three millimeters we have fillet here and here so we click in this add button and we add this edge and this and we add this edge here okay and now click ok press home okay and here we have this fillet a fillet with a radius of two millimeters so we select this edge here and we go to fillet tool we change the value here to two millimeters and we click in this add button and we add these three edges and click ok and next here we have to do this chamfer operation okay so we select this edge and we go to chamfer operation chamfer tool here we will change the value of the chamfer to okay we will set we'll set 1.5 millimeters so we change here to one 0.5 millimeters and then click in this a button and we add this edge here this edge and this edge and we'll add this edge here and now click ok so okay here you can see this model you can see that we finished the design of this model so thank you for watching this video okay thank you